Hello. A lot of people should be aware that uh, you can now take models from Google Warehouse and actually input those into CryEngine 3. But if you don't want to use a specific model from Google Warehouse, but you actually want to create your own, say in Sculptress, then how do you go about doing that? Well, when you actually save this model, it actually creates an object file, the .obj extension. Now, a lot of you will have tried, presumably, to go through Blender. Um, you may have imported the object file into Blender and then tried to create a 3DS format file. So that when you go into when you go into SketchUp and you go for import and you can then import a 3DS file. But the trouble is if you try and import a 3DS file, um, I couldn't get it to work. Because what I got was if I just import this, I get I can't insert the empty component. So the best way to do it really is to import an object file. Now for Google SketchUp to use an object file you actually have to download another tool. And the program you need is if I just go to free software. This fluid importer. Now you can actually, if you go to this website up here, fireplus.com, it's, it's just one of the websites that I found it on. Uh, you can actually get this fluid importer for SketchUp. And then what that allows you to do is that allows you that when you go into SketchUp, you can actually import from object files which is what you would have saved from your sculptress. So there if I just I clicked on that it uh, gives you some options. I'm just going to say OK to that. And there we have it. I've now created an object. Um, and what I then do is I then go through the normal method of using file play up. to actually send it to CryEngine 3, send it to these areas here. I do have another video which shows you how to do that. Um, so I, I know it's not, it's not straightforward if you're new to this, but it does, you, it does allow you to create your own models rather than take specifically designed models from Google Warehouse. So you can create your own models and then get them into CryEngine 3. So I hope that's helped. Thank you.